Welcome back to La Belska de Lina for episode 50 in the adventures of Feldcorp. Ah, thank you kindly. Alright, bye bye now. Oh, hello everyone. Uh, yes, so uh, I was just on the phone there to our contact up at uh, the class facility, dealership thing. Uh, as you can see, our money has uh, gone down to... Uh, 231,000. There should be a um, leasing cost thing popping up fairly soon. Uh, I'm not sure where it's popping up, but uh, uh, yeah, we should be getting a notification for that, for the um, 30 grand uh, that we plopped onto the uh, um, yeah, class package that we've got back down there. Uh, yeah, the new sensor and the, the tractor. So that is looking good. Uh, now, uh, this morning, uh, what we are doing is having a bit of a sell. But uh, first things first, we have to feed the pigs. Because they are getting a little bit on the hungry side. So let's just uh, back up there and hook up to the trailer. Just going to open this rear door here quick too. And head out of here and fill up with delicious pig feed. I'm not sure exactly how much we've got left at the moment in here. Uh, it should tell us when we get around the side. Ah yes, 24,000 litres. Have I got stuck on that thing? Oh, I have. That's hilarious. I was trying to go out, uh, or go in as close as possible, in order to uh, hit the uh, fill trigger. Might be lucky and catch it there. No, we're not. Okay, well, it was worth a try. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, the, what's it, the tiny tanker is ever so slightly in the way. And I'm just making a pig's ear of it now. <laughs> Which is humorous because it's pig feed, but yeah. <laughs> okay, there we go. Filling up with the old pig feed there lovely stuff. Now they're probably going to take quite a chunk of this, um, which is okay. But uh, uh, we've got a few more odds and ends of crops that we can uh, fling into there at some point, uh, just to scrounge up a little bit more before harvest season next year comes around. But that shouldn't be too big of a deal, hopefully. So let's just get in here, and there we go. Offload some of that. See how much those lovely pigs want to take. Probably all of it. <laughs> if, if I'm honest, they're going to take all of it, aren't they? Yes, they did. There we go. Do we have any more? No. Oh, I think there's a little bit in there, but whatever. <laughs> so if we look at the pigs there, oh yeah, they're doing uh, quite well. They are almost max in all of that, and they've got plenty of straw, so that's good. So let us turn that off now. Uh, that should keep them going for a couple of months easily, I would say. Uh, we'll shut that door. Oh, in fact, we should have backed that down a bit, but that will be fine. Uh, so, uh, next order of the day. Uh, we are going to sell some things. We've got some barley and corn down there specifically that we are looking at selling. Uh, we do have some canola up there, but I don't think we're going to sell any of that this year. Uh, eggs we're not too worried about at the moment, although I think there is a box there that can be can be picked up and wedged in there. In fact, I might as well take this one as well. Plonk that in there. Lovely job. And uh, yeah, we are... Okay, so we've got the lorry down here already um, because... In fact, let me close this gate so the uh, uh, things don't... the chickens don't try to escape. Not that they're really likely to, because they're quite good, the chickens. They've been all right for us. So, uh, apparently there's no more place to put chicken eggs. Interesting. Why Why would you say that? Is that because I was standing in there at the time? Possibly. Ah, who knows. It's hard to tell with those chickens. Uh, but yes, so uh, we are down here to sell off a few things. So let's see what we've got in this silo. Uh, the wheat we're keeping obviously for chicken feed. 
the majority of the barley we're going to keep, but we're going to take one trailer load of that, and I believe one trailer load of corn today. So let's have a quick look at the prices. Oh, in fact, you can see on our finance screen there, just on the right, uh, vehicle leasing costs, um, 30000 Let me just point at it with the mouse pointer, right here. Uh, 30183 for, like, sort of, not taxes, but uh, uh, transaction fees and all sorts. Uh, but yeah, it's not a problem. <laughs> uh, so we've got barley. Uh, barley is currently selling at the um, LDSPZOO, um, which I seem to remember uh, I was told that some of that stands for um, uh, LLC, like Limited Liability Company sort of thing. Um, but I forget which way around that was. But anyway, uh, yes, so onwards uh, we're going to do the um, barley, 15,000 odd litres of that. And uh, corn is the other one. Uh, it's dropping now, but the price there is uh, 900 and something. So if we get the old engine started and get some barley in here, we'll take 15,000 litres of this. About 15,400, and uh, if we can get the other train that up close enough, we're going to take 15,000 litres of corn. And we'll take that and uh, give it a quick sell. Let's see what we can get out of here. <laughs> Bit of a hill climb coming up there, but I think we're good. Uh, and we will just run down there quick and shut the door so the chickens don't try and come out this side. In fact, we probably should close this one so they don't actually try and eat the grain while it's in there. <laughs> that would be funny, wouldn't it? Come back and find they've eaten through the entire grain store. Actually, that wouldn't be funny at all. Oh dear, what's going on there? That's gone a bit wrong, that is. Uh, is oh, for some reason the axle was blocked. That's weird. Okay, so which one are we taking where? Okay, I know I just looked at this. Okay, the barley is going to the uh, facility just up the road here. So we'll make sure we're on the correct one. Oh, in fact, what I could have done was just um, loaded it into the, the front one and not worried about it. But there you go. <laughs> I'm not that smart, apparently. <laughs> so, not to worry. Uh, we shall get this sold in here. And uh, where are we? Coming in. We're probably on the wrong tip side, aren't we? So we just back up slightly. Uh, ah, there we go. Just had to change the tip side. And that fixed the problem. <laughs> so we are selling that barley. Let's see what we get for that. Hopefully about uh, eight, nine grand, maybe. I'm thinking. Oh, it just under twelve thousand. Very nice. That was wonderful. Okay, so now we are off down the road to the uh, other facility, the PL Plaque PGR which I have no idea what that's called, but let's just find that on the map quick while we're driving. Hang on a minute. Stop, 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 stop. That's the one up here, isn't it? It is, so it's actually not that far from the farm. Splendid. Uh, well, in that case, let's do a quick uh, U-turn here through the car park and see what we can find. or we'll see what we can get for our corn, which is handily just up the road here. Oh, we usually don't go to this cell point, if I remember correctly, so that's quite exciting. Get to see a, a new place, as long as we've been here and we've not really sold anything over there. Uh, now, we did pick up some uh, fertilising contracts as well, uh, which uh, the family hasn't started doing yet, but uh, it will be on some of these local fields around here. I think Field 2 they've got something on. Uh, so let's see, uh, field 5 just up here as well. And we are, I believe it's in here somewhere. So let's have a quick mosey around, see if we can find... Oh, there it is, right down there. 
I looked straight at it and then didn't even recognise it. It was a rusty old harvester. <laughs> okay, so... Let's drop that off. Lovely. And uh, we are going to... Ooh, I need to change the tip side on that back as well, just for safety. Now, let's see what we can get for that. Smashing another 14,000. So, those two harvests, or, or those two sales rather, have uh, basically paid for... Um, it done one more payment for the um, class tractor. That is very nice. We're just going to drive through this building here. <laughs> Lovely. So back down to the farm. And uh, a couple of other things we are looking at. Uh, potentially is taking another load of manure down to the, uh, the BGA. And uh, also we've got all that silage to shift. Now, depending on how it goes, we may leave the silage for tomorrow, or at least for later on today, because we do have those bales that are getting ready to be sold. Uh, but what we shall do once we get back here to the farm is check on the uh, the price of the digestate, because we do have some of that that we need to sell as well. So now I'm going to, on purpose, block that axle. Have I blocked it? I have. But it's not doing what it's supposed to be doing. Come on. There we go. Oh, crikey, that's gone a bit wrong. I mean, it sort of isn't, but it sort of is. <laughs> See if we can straighten up in this barn just for a second. Lovely. Okay. Yeah, sometimes that works and sometimes it doesn't. I suspect it might be because it was blocked uh, overnight or something and it's just gotten a bit uh, a bit sticky. So we shall make sure that is undone. Turn this off for a minute. Disconnect the trailer because I don't think we'll need it. And let's have a look at the pricing menu. So, uh, digestate, where are we now? It's currently at uh, 2,500 and rising. That's very good. And uh, what uh, is the top price supposed to be and when? Digest date. Top price is 2,600 and technically speaking, tomorrow. Okay, and while we're here, let's see how much manure we've got. 23,000 litres. Lovely. So, uh, what we can do then is take this lorry and uh, fill it up with manure from up by our pigs out of the way birds <laughs> uh, yeah we'll fill this up with manure and uh, get it down to the BGA and then have a look at um, maybe shifting that silage into the BGA as well and uh, I think actually we might get one of the family to come down with us uh, because they can drive um, something while we uh, work the, um, uh, what's that thing called that we've got? Uh, the conveyor belt system down there. So uh, yeah, we shall see about that. So uh, I'm going to go and find a tractor, get this thing loaded, and head off down to the BGA. So here we are coming down to the BGA now. Uh, there's myself and uh, Yannick there in the passenger seat. Uh, we are just going to deposit some uh, all of this delicious manure, uh, we ended up bringing all of it that was available, which was uh, 26,000 litres. So we are bringing that down and dropping it in. Figured, uh, you know, it was close to 30,000 by the time we started digging it out, so might as well bring the whole lot down. You know, it's more money at the end of the day, so that is not a bad thing. And that is all in there. Lovely job. So let's turn around here quick. I have to go on the grass a little bit, but that's okay. And then we're just going to head back up the road and whiz into the old uh, thingamabopper there. And uh, see what we can do about getting uh, this silage and everything shifted. So uh, let us park up the truck here. 
Now, uh, we're going to try and do it uh, just one of us for now. Uh, so we'll leave um, Yannick sitting in the truck there just to have a watch. And uh, let's see what we've got going on. So, uh, this is our bunker silo. It is ready to be opened. So let's open it. And we've got... Wow, we've got a good amount of silage in here. 328,000 litres. That is going to be magnificent. So, uh, first things first, we are going to hop in the old Russell mesh here. Um, now, sadly, this won't actually pick up silage for us. I was really hoping it would, but it doesn't. And that's okay. We've got this little conveyor belt thing here for this specific purpose. So we're just going to hook that up to uh, drag it out a bit quicker. Because uh, it only goes at like one mile an hour. So to get it all the way over to here can be a bit of a pain. So let's just drop that there. Lovely. Oops, didn't mean to get into that. <laughs> and uh, spin around quick. And grab the old trailer. Now, hopefully... I don't even know if this one might actually be able to tip directly into the... Uh, oops, nobody saw that. <laughs> it might be able to tip um, straight into the BGA, because uh, it's a little bit higher than the other one. But we shall see. Uh, so, first things first. We are going to back it up alongside as best we can and hop into this thing. There we go. There we go. Turn the engine oh, turn the engine on. There we go. Unfold the belt. And we are going to swing this around to this side. Go forwards and turn it on. As you can see it's chugging away nicely there. I don't think I have to lower anything, do I? That's already lowered. Now the question is, will it... Uh, ah, there we go. Now it is depositing it nicely into the thing, or not. Ah, okay, there we go. Just a bit of correctiveness there. We are missing a little bit, but I think we are generally good. Okay, so we are now going to back this up a little bit. See if we can't get it underneath it a bit better. <laughs> now we could go forwards and load it uh, in a frontwards fashion, but I have a feeling that uh, if we just do it like this, I don't think it will go around anymore, will it? No. There we go. Yeah, it's a takes its time, but it gets the job done. And that's really all we can ask of it. So, we are just going to carry on with this, and uh, it's probably going to take a bit of time. Because, as you can see, it is quite the uh, full bunker silo. So, why is that uh, not... Oh, there we go. Now it's tipping it in. Yeah, it could be it's getting a tiny bit high up on the, uh, the thing there. But that's fine, so we'll leave that going. Jump back in this. Spin that around a bit. Lovely. So yeah, there's a little bit of back and forth, but I think ideally this is uh, going to be a bit better than trying to... Uh, do anything weird with it. He says, hoping it's, uh, it's not, is it? It's not, uh, it's dropping it in up that end for some reason. Maybe because that's the low end? Oh, there we go. Maybe we'll have to look at, uh, getting something a bit more modern later on, perhaps. Yes. Yeah, Definitely not playing ball quite so much now, is it? That's unfortunate. Okay, well, maybe we'll have to turn it around and come at it in another direction. Let's give that a try. But, either way, because it's certainly not full up by any means. Oh, not quite going to make that turn, are we? Almost made it. 
but not quite. <laughs> yeah, as you can see, this silage is a little bit of a uh, yeah. What do you call it? Don't smack into it. Oh God, now we're all off uh, out of whack, aren't we? <laughs> okay, let's back this down here a bit. Are you going to? You just are not going to fill up, are you? Uh, I'm wondering if now may be the time to get some new uh, conveyor belt systems. Because this thing is not wanting to fill up at all now. Yeah. It could be... Could be because of the height of it, I suppose, but... Yeah, something is definitely not working quite right there. That one looks like Clara has finished the uh, contract on field... Uh, what do you call that? Um, 22. You just see it up in the top corner there. Uh, so she will be getting to the end of her allotted GPS line in a minute. Uh, but yes, I get the feeling now we are going to have to... Um, uh, zoom out by mistake and press all the wrong buttons. Uh, yeah, we may have to uh, return this to the uh, the store and perhaps get a new one. Oh, actually, no, we're not going to return this. We're going to take it back up to the farm because we can use it up there for the manure. Yes, instead of having to bucket it up every time, we should be able to use this because that's uh, a lot less moving involved then. Yeah, that could uh, that could be the thing. So yes, uh, we shall have a look at getting some new belt systems. Uh, I mean, in fact, we could probably get away with just one. Um, if I go to the right page, let's have a quick look. Because, I mean, we've got options of essentially grabbing like uh, uh, one like that to load it up into the um, uh, off of the ground, and then something like this one which is also fairly cheap, uh, to load it up into the trailer from there. So that is an option. Or even this one. Uh, that may or may not go high enough, but uh, it's a possibility. Now it says these ones do pick up from the ground, but it doesn't exactly look that realistic, if I'm honest. So uh, yeah, I'm kind of thinking, you know what we could do? We could get one of these for five grand and uh, bring it down do we have anything green that would vaguely match the one we've got is it even green the one that we've got I can't remember it is yeah okay well let's put this uh, around about here for now and uh, do that and then turn it off uh, so I shall hop into this, move this down, and we'll still send uh, Yannick back up to the store to grab another one. And uh, he shall come back down shortly with that. Okay, so Yannick is back here now, and he came back in the class harvester. Uh, we had a little bit of uh, back and forth going on, um, because the conveyor belts we tried did not want to play ball. So we've got a slightly different setup going on down here now. So if I turn around, you can see it. Uh, here it is. Um, now we had to spring for one of the slightly more expensive um, Grimmer Quantums. And um, we've got this little thing down here as well. And uh, in theory, this all should work quite well. So let's hop in this. Drive under here. And the reason we got this particular one, it was a bit spendy, it was like 38 grand. Okay, that's filling up. And that's drawing from there. Lovely. Uh, but yes, the reason we got this rather than um, uh, one of the other cheaper options was because if we're going to be doing a massive uh, corn silage harvest next year, or the family is, then um, it would behoove us to have some good equipment for it. Uh, because this will make it much, much easier to draw stuff out of the bunker silo uh, and into these trailers, as you can see. It's, you know, not the speediest of things, but it is... Uh, hopefully it's all switched on properly. 
I mean, we can check quick. Ugh, which way am I going? This way. <laughs> uh, so yeah, there doesn't seem to be an on option, as it were, with this one. Uh, and this one is on, and the engine is on, and it's doing its thing. Uh, but yeah, so uh, effectively this is the family's new um, silo setup thing here, a conveyor rig. Like I say, it's a little bit more than we'd wanted to spend immediately, but then we do have 300,000 litres of silage to shift. So, yeah. Now we can actually connect that to that. Whether or not that is actually going to help matters, I don't know. But see, we need to... Is it picking up from... Oh, it is picking up from that corner. Lovely. Uh, so, yeah, maybe we don't need to fold that in like that. But we can uh, extend and move, I believe. Oh, that's up and down. I thought there was an option to rotate side to side. Am I missing something? I may be missing something. But, uh, yeah, it is uh, looking quite good. We are chomping away at the old silo there, loading it into the wagon. Let's just unhook that, because it looked a bit weird. <laughs> but, yeah, we are just about to have the first full trailer load here. That is smashing. 45,000 metres of silage. Lovely stuff. And we are going to plonk this into the BGA. Now, obviously, this is going to be uh, a bit of a uh, long process because yeah, we're going to have to do... Oh, yeah, this one can tip straight in. Smashing. Oh, that's perfect, that is. Yes, yeah, because it's a push thing, and if we get close enough... Eh, I mean, we could potentially put it up on the ramp as well. That's not a big deal, but uh, there we go. Lovely. So we've got 45,000 litres in this. Yes, we're going to have to do about five, five to six loads, I think. So uh, we shall carry on with this into the night. And uh, see how... Oh, crikey, that went a bit wrong. Can I raise that up any more than it already is? <laughs> ah, yes, we can. Splendid. Okay. However, we now have to move this a bit, it seems. See if we can get that a little bit from there. Do you want to pick that up? Yes, no? Oh, I've got to turn on the belt, that's why. Well, duh. Okay, so let's move this back over here again. Don't know if it's... Yeah, it's still pulling some out of that. We're probably going to have to move it back anyway, because it has been... Uh, uh, it's sort of fairly out of range. Uh, but yeah, so we are going to continue on with this. Uh, Yannick is obviously paying very close attention to what's going on, which is awesome to see. So, with any luck, uh, he will know exactly how this all works. And uh, come next year, or next uh, season, you know, we'll uh, basically fill this up all year round during the year with... Um, combination of grass and corn silage and it should all go together fairly well indeed so yes uh, we'll carry on with this and um, hopefully we can get it all in uh, we'll probably have to run into the night of course looking at uh, the speed this is going so not uh, not the fastest in the world but probably quicker than having like a wheel loader or something and probably cheaper than having a wheel loader as well, because wheel loaders are a bit expensive, if I'm honest. Although, let's have a look in the used sales. Is that used? Oh, well, we got... Uh, well, they, they were not wrong. There are two class uh, tractors here up for sale in the used section. So that's very handy. Ah, one of those. Quite a lot of, uh, a lot of good stuff for sale. John Deere there. Probably a bit long for... Yeah, I think that's going to be too long for the farm. But uh, one of these little old trucks. Lorry cabs. Now, if you remember, this was one of the first uh, lorry cabs that uh, Felcourt bought back in uh, the day when we were up in Attingham Park in England. 
we found one of these on the cheap and that was that was where we got started good stuff let's see if there's anything on sale here because it's one of those things where we could potentially you know if any of the um, conveyors come on sale we could always buy something else but uh, yeah I think uh, I think we are good with this we shall continue on and uh, get as much of this done as we can uh, see how it's processing because obviously it's got to process that before we can put another load in so it's not going to matter too much if it uh, takes a little while so yeah we shall uh, see how that all goes now I'm thinking we might be able to uh, bring those silage bales down as well uh, I don't know if there's going to be time to get those in tonight. We could just chuck them in our one uh, over here. Now that I think about it, that might not be uh, the world's worst thing to do. So yeah, maybe we'll we'll do that while this is processing and filling and everything. Uh, but for now, uh, we are going to leave it here and uh, see just exactly how long this takes and how much money we can get from it. Yes, we are progressing nicely with the uh, silage transfer. Uh, we've put, um, I think it's the third uh, load in the main BGA there. Uh, it's either three or three and a half, because uh, we've got 160 some thousand left in the, uh, the silo, and uh, there's about 39,000 litres processing at the moment. So I think we've done like a half a load, and. Um, refilled it and then put the whole load in while we're bringing the bales down. Uh, now the bales have gone into this BGA on the side here and uh, we figured we might as well plonk a um, trailer load of the old silage in here as well because you know we've got plenty of it. Uh, I believe our contract was 200,000 litres uh, I forget off the top of my head, but um, I know we've well surpassed whatever our contract was um, with the main BGA, so an, an extra load over here is not going to hurt anything. Uh, now this BGA, you can see, is up to 132,000 and rising while it's processing this little load, and uh, the other one is roughly the same. So uh, we are going to head back over there and get some more into the processors and uh, see how we go and you probably see as we come around the corner here yeah there we've got the um, we bought the little uh, zettel down with the uh, five silage bales on it and plonked them in the BGA back around there so uh, yeah we shall continue on still got quite a lot to do oh crumbs yeah we're gonna have to get some lights installed down here because you cannot see a thing it's mental <laughs> Cracky, it's dark down here. But anyway, yes, uh, we shall carry on with this. Let's turn the engine off for a bit. Uh, we'll run over here quick and see how it's processing. Uh, yeah, 29,000 left to go in here. Uh, but that is. Um, uh, we've got 160,000. No, not 160,000. 100, uh, about 100,000, I would say, in here something like that including what's processing there because uh, yeah we had so something to that ab about that it's about 100,000 litres gone through here already and that is going through nicely and over here the sign says yep almost the same as the other one so that is splendid uh, but yeah we'll carry on with this into the night and uh, then pick it up again later on once we get uh, uh, you know, sort of, um, see the uh, uh, nightly income come through and then pick it up again in the morning. Well, good morning everyone. It is now day two midwinter and as you saw there we got quite a tasty payout from the two biogas plants. From the uh, manure that we took down to one and uh, uh, the silage that we've spread across both of them. Uh, now we do have, um, uh, what is it that's going on up there? Uh, there's a little bit of, um, uh, what is it, silage that was still processing at around about uh, 11 p.m. I think there's about 30,000 litres still there. So, um, 
yeah, that is going to stay there. Oops, can't open it from this side. Uh, that is going to process, and we may get a little bit more money from that tonight, uh, which is perfectly fine. That is not a problem. Uh, now, you're probably wondering what we are doing in this tractor. And, in fact, the first thing we are going to do is check on the old animals. Uh, and uh, we can see that uh, they are going to need a little bit of work. Uh, so what we shall do is head up this way and uh, let's see we, uh, we're actually not going to get the pigs any more food just yet uh, specifically because what we are going to do is actually take some of them off to sell uh, now we're going to have to have a look and see what's what over here let's have a quick look uh, because obviously we don't want to sell the uh, the old ones specifically, but because uh, the uh, oldest ones that we've got are, if I can find them down here somewhere, there we go. I mean they are worth a pretty penny, if I'm honest. They are quite worth quite a lot. There's like 900 for them, <laughs> versus like five to 600 for these ones. That's not bad though, um, but yes, so uh, those ones we will probably keep for a while longer, but uh, if we just check the animal things, let's see, next animal in two years, yeah, the male ones obviously aren't going to produce any, but yeah, see, oops. I am wondering if what we could do besides, yeah, that's not going to have another animal yet, uh, oh yeah, these are the original ones. Yeah, see, I'm wondering if it's going to be worth at some point selling these, since we've had them for two and a half years. But we'll worry about that later on. That is perhaps a decision that the family will have to make themselves. But for now, we are going to uh, grab some more piglies and take them down to the sell point. Up there, hook those up, and see about getting some of them pigs. Now, I seem to remember we had a slight issue with this before actually registering it was in the uh, trigger, but yeah, let me ah, there it goes. Uh, yes, so we've got. Uh, Let's see, lots of female ones. And we'll start by taking all the male ones. Because why not? <laughs> oh, there's one. There's another one. Yeah, lots of females, of course. There shouldn't be any males under... There's one. Uh, or over, like, two, two years. <laughs> Okay, that is all the males. Smashing. So we are actually... I suppose it is. Yeah, we did go through it quite quick. Uh, so we're going to run back up to the top and start taking out the females, the uh, youngest ones. Yeah, They're not uh, the highest price ones we've got, but we shall take these. Okay, and that is a trailer load which is weird that you can't... Oh, hang on. Did I? I did. Oh, I'm a Muppet. Okay, sod it. We are just going to take everything from the top. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. <laughs> what a donut. Okay, so we are going to confirm that. There we go. Now there's pigs in there. <laughs> so we are going to run off down to the cell point with these and uh, see what is going on, see how much we can get for them. Uh, so I'll see you back there shortly. Alright, here we are coming down to the animal dealer for the first time today. 
and uh, we are going to see what we can get for these peels, piggly wigglies and hopefully it is going to be a nice amount let's see get it turned around there let's head for this bay I think see what we can get so we are going to want to sell all of these just make sure as we're going through they are all high numbered ones they are and we are going to get 11 grand for that first load of pigs that is fantastic so uh, I am going to head back up to the farm uh, I'm going to close the gates first because that would be really not cool of me to drag those all the way up there open like that there we go <laughs> Uh, yep, so uh, we are going to head back up to the farm, grab the next load, and come back down here to see what we can get for those. Alrighty, we are coming in to sell the last load, or well, not the last load, the second load of pigs. Uh, let us see how much we get for these. This is uh, load 2 of 15 pigs, and uh, the... Um, first load was the same as 15 is it 15 oh no it's 20 how come it's 20 that was 15 oh, i'm very confused today apparently <laughs> so yes let's get all these out they all are well under the age limit so that's good 20 of those and that is another just under 12 grand smashing so back up we go to grab 20 more because our uh, pig pen holds 90 so um, at least I thought it held 90 now I'm very unsure watch out for that weird lump in the ground there <laughs> uh, so yes uh, well onwards we go to get the next load all right here we are coming down with the last of the three loads and I figured out what the confusion was with the pigs. Uh, somewhere between the uh, first and second load, we had ten new births. That's right, we've already got more tiny little piglets. Is that not awesome? So yeah, we'd, uh, we had ten new births. So uh, that's why I was getting confused. Because... Um, we dropped the first twenty. We took the first twenty out, which would have taken it down to seventy, and then uh, we must have had ten more born right then, or you know, so while we were driving. And then when we got back and got the second load, it was showing um, uh, there were sixty left, and that's where the confusion was coming in. And uh, oh, this load here is selling for uh, eleven thousand five hundred and ninety-eight, which is quite good. So yep, that is all the pigs sold, and if we go to the uh, pig screen here, uh, you can see their feed is doing much better again, uh, although they do need cleaning and some straw. But, uh, oh, thanks for that game. Um, yeah, we've got uh, the original, uh, let's see, 12, we had 24 originally, plus 6 extra bonus ones. But as you can see, we've got... Uh, quite a few more yeah that's one of the bonus ones the um uh, the like six extra ones so we've still yeah we've now got some younger pigs hiding in there and uh just down here we've got some very new ones that have uh, literally just popped out that one uh, yeah, five are we going to have to take more down with us already no, we can't have. We can't need to do that already, surely. I'm so very confused about the pigs now. <laughs> I thought I got it sorted out in my head, but apparently not. So, <laughs> uh, we are going to leg it up back to the farm now and uh, sort this out once and for all. Um, we should have, I think it was about 40 pigs, which would have been... Uh, 10 new and probably um, some left over but uh, we'll have a quick look although I think that is probably the last load we're going to do of pigs today and uh, we have one last job to do before we call it done for the uh, the episode uh, so I shall see you back at the farm shortly 
Alrighty, well, here we are on our last job of the day. Uh, as you can see, we are just topping off with some digestate from our uh, uh, own secondary BGA that we put in to process uh, some of the other stuff. Now, uh, we've still got 100, just under 130,000 litres of digestate to sell. And uh, we get, uh, what is it, 41,420 per load in this tanker. So uh, we are probably going to do three loads of this, I would say, because the uh, current value of it is... Oh, it's not this turning. Oops, too soon, too soon. <laughs> um, yeah, the uh, as soon as we get on this straight road here, I shall pop up the old price window and hopefully not hit a tree. Uh, oh, there it is. Yep, yeah, it is falling now from 26.98, but um, the top price was 27.03, and uh, it peaked a little bit while we were dealing with the pigs. So uh, we are now dealing with this, <laughs> and uh, luckily the slurry yard isn't too far away from our uh, uh, BGAs. They are just over there. You can actually see the top of one of them through the window there. Assuming we can get up this hill. Oh dear, this is a bit of a struggle. Down to two miles an hour, oh, up to three, up to three. Can I see four? Do I see four miles an hour? Come on, you can do it. Well, I think we're peaking or cresting over the hill. There we go, there's four. Come on, five, there's five. Lovely, we are going like the clappers now. Yeah, this is um, obviously a uh, very heavy load for this truck. Uh, I want to say it's like 200 and something horsepower, so it probably shouldn't be pulling something quite this big. But, yeah, you know, such is life. <laughs> if, oh, I wonder, what maybe what we should do is come up this track instead. That might actually be a better idea try that with the second load. Uh, so yeah, if I swing in here quick, we shall sell it off at the uh, slurry depository point there. Let's just back up into it. Now, yeah, I know I could sell it pretty much anywhere, but... Okay, there we go. We are offloading that, and the money is going up. So uh, we were getting, what, um, 2,600, did I say? Yes, just under 2,700 per thousand litres. And we've got 40,000 litres in this. So we should get, what, close to 100,000 euros? No, that can't be right. Maybe 80,000? It's probably going to be between 80 and 100,000, I guess. Well, let's see, we are about to find out. Survey says... 111,000. Wow. Okay then. Well, let's get a shifty on and get a couple more loads of this stuff done quick. Because that was not terrible. And that, boys and girls, is why Digestate is so very useful. <laughs> okay, yeah, so if we come up this way, that might actually be a little bit better. I mean, we've still got a bit of a hill here. Uh, now, we could actually cut across our field as well. Instead of driving down here and almost tipping over. Maybe what we could do is just drive up our um, field, like 120... 119, whichever one that is, just down there. So, yeah, we may do that this time. But, wow. 111,000. That is rather good. So it definitely pays to have a, uh, a digestate uh, making machine and a uh, thing to plop it in, to sell it into. So yeah, if we sell um, two more loads of this, oh blimey, that'll have us up to um, 700,000. I mean, even if we get some drop in price, it's not dropping much yet, but time is progressing. So, uh, yeah, if that uh, drops again, 
too much. I mean, at, at the end of the day, we're still likely to get 80,000 odd litres, uh, euros per tank. Because even at 2,000, uh, yeah, even if it was just at 2,000 um, euros per thousand litres, you know, 80,000 euros for basically by-product of waste, well not waste, but, uh, oh dear, the, uh, I just see the uh, lakes are frozen over, or the river, water, stream things, that's unfortunate. <laughs> yeah, the ground temperature has now hit negative one degree Celsius, well then, Okay, so which field? Oh yeah, it was just up here. So if we uh, cut up here, these are two of our fields which we planted with cover crop. So we're sort of going up the, uh, not exactly a median, but close enough. And uh, yeah, that is definitely a bit nicer than uh, the old, uh, what do you call it, three miles an hour up that big hill. <laughs> a little bit slower, but yeah, wow, th this is really going to leave the family in good stead. I am very pleased with this. Very pleased, indeed. Okay, well, let's see what we get for the second load. Eventually, when we get up the hill. <laughs> yeah, we found a bit of an incline again, but like I say, at least it's not three miles an hour yet. Please don't get down to three miles an hour. That would be really embarrassing. Yay, there we go. Lovely. Okay, in here we go for the second time. And let's see what they want to give us. Just swing around to the uh, correct depository. Sort of. <laughs> Made a pig's ear of that, but. Let's do that. Yep, the price is still pretty good. Now, they do take manure here, but it's actually not that much better than the um, biogas plant, which is interesting. It's actually worse than the biogas plant. But, um, yeah, so even the manure, if we convert the manure into digestate, yeah, we may not uh, get a 100% conversion rate on it, but we're getting paid uh, by the uh, local energy companies for providing them with energy from um, you know converting the manure so why not you know let's see there's another 111,000 and change again that is amazing and obviously the price is dropping a little bit and that may really have killed it off for us <laughs> But, uh, well, we shall see. And um, we'll do the same thing. We'll uh, take a, a quick right down here. We'll go down this side of this field instead, uh, just to uh, try and ease compaction a little bit, because we don't want to uh, ruin the fields too much. He says, looking at the tyre tracks going all the way across the corner of that field. Oh, well. Next season it will be a corn silage one, so that is all good. And uh, the other interesting side note about this, uh, the BGA over there should still have like 150 odd thousand litres of digestate in it, which is uh, what we will use to fertilise the fields with. And as it happens we'll still have... oh crikey, didn't put the brakes on. Uh, we'll still have uh, 40,000 litres odd sitting in this one as well, so uh, we are going to be well sorted for the old uh, silage and everything. No, not silage, uh, digestate. Yeah, Fertilisers are looking good. Lovely, yeah, we'll leave that in there. So, on the off chance that we ever do, or the family ever does happen to need some quick money, they've got that there. Plus, um, I think we've got close to 100,000 litres up at the farm as well in that big bag. The uh, giant slurry bag. So, um, yeah, that, well, that's marvellous. <laughs> that is probably good news, that is. So, yeah, we shall get this last load sold quick. And then uh, wrap things up with that uh, very, very splendid and unexpected profit. I mean, it wasn't unexpected, this is the time we're going to sell stuff, but, you know. You never quite expect it to be as good as it is 
until you actually sell it. <laughs> and then it's like, wow, I did not expect that. Because, I mean, really, you know, we're selling off a couple of bits of crop, um, some pigs. Pigs did quite well, very pleased with them. Uh, that's the second time I think we've sold uh, that many pigs, so that's very good indeed. And then obviously the digestate sale, that is really, uh, really bringing us into the, uh, the home stretch. And uh, we'll check on the bank too, but I believe we are all paid up there with them. Um, the uh, class payments are ongoing, there'll be another one uh, at the end of winter slash beginning of spring. And then uh, I think one more at the start of summer, but uh, that is not a problem. And of course there's always the option of paying it off early, so you never know what they might do with the money. But we are just going to squeeze in here again, get ourselves semi-lined up with the... Uh, tank thing so we can wedge a hose across and plonk this last load in. Yeah, I'm not going to check what the price is this time, I'm hoping it's still good though. But yes, so if we hop out of here and have a look at this. Uh, yeah, so, well, um, if you've enjoyed whatever this was, then please give us a like and uh, hit the old subscribe button too there if you haven't already. Comments are always welcomed, and if you would like to share this video, that would be massively, greatly appreciated. You know, we are hoping to grow the channel as much as we can, so any shares, likes, subscribes, uh, anything you do there will help us out, get us uh, noticed by YouTube a little bit more, all that fun stuff. And there we have it, 111,558. So we dropped a little bit on the last last couple of loads but not much so the price is probably going to tank for the rest of the year now <laughs> but yes uh, we shall leave it there and uh, you know I do really hope uh, everyone's enjoyed this and uh, I think um, yes we are all good for today so yeah with that done uh, I shall see you all next time <laughs> cheerio everyone <laughs>